During World War II, Irena Sendler, a Polish Catholic social worker, rescued 2,500 Jewish children from certain death in the Warsaw Ghetto. Irena Sendler was less than five feet tall. Risking death every day, she went in and out of the Warsaw Ghetto, sometimes two and three times a day, to rescue children with her network of co-conspirators. After the war, her incredible story of rescue was buried, forgotten. Irena Sendler was virtually unknown. Sixty years later, Kansas teenagers begin a National History Day project based on a brief reference to her story. Bit by bit, they uncover her remarkable saga. They learn that she kept lists of the children, lists she buried in jars under an apple tree. The Kansas students write and perform a play they call Life in a Jar. Take them now, for we cannot bear to think of this any longer. We have them ready to go. Isaac, Hannah, this nice lady is going to take you someplace safe where you'll feel much better. We will be with you sometime soon. Children, Take my hands. Say goodbye to Mama and Papa. When they begin the project, they think Irena Sendler must be dead. One day, to their utter astonishment, they learn that she is alive and living in Warsaw. They meet her and begin a heartwarming relationship that lasts for eight years until her death at 98. As the Kansas girls uncover Irena Sendler's heroism, they confront their own painful personal burdens, challenges to which every young person can relate. After National History Day, they continue to present their play in the United States and in Poland. In the process, they elevate Irena Sendler to a Polish national hero. In 2007, she was nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize by the President of Poland and the Prime Minister of Israel. Now, for the first time, these two intimately related stories, Irena Sendler's wartime rescues and the Kansas girls who rescued the rescuer, are told in a compelling new book by Jack Mayer, Life in a Jar, The Irena Sendler Project. Irena Sendler and the Kansas teens inspire young people. They inspire us all to do what we can to repair the world. 60% of the author's royalties from the sale of Life in a Jar, the Irena Sendler project, are donated to the Irena Sendler Life in a Jar Foundation, a nonprofit organization that works with students all over the world to emulate the Life in a Jar project using unsung heroes in history to promote Irena Sendler's legacy of tolerance, respect, and understanding for all people. Life in a Jar, the Irena Sendler project, can be purchased at bookstores everywhere and is available from Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and in Kindle, Nook, and iBook formats. Books can also be purchased through the Life in a Jar Foundation, which continues to perform Life in a Jar and works with students and teachers across America and around the world, developing projects that demonstrate tikkun olam, a Hebrew phrase meaning repair the world. <laughs>